everyone, I'm Jen. And I'm Joe. And we're Jen and Joe. On, on the, the go. go. So Jen, where are we going today? The loony bin? It's not where we're going, it's what we're doing today. Going to the loony bin <laughs> before it's in over? about 12 hours, yes. Mm. So, no, 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 this is gonna be great because it's an adventure in babysitting. See what I did there? You yes. Like I, yeah, yeah. I, I, so yeah. what are we doing, Jen? So um, we are babysitting. Well, actually, Joe's going to be babysitting for the first couple hours because I have to work from home. Um, but yeah, we're babysitting Riley today because Carrie and Matt have some stuff to do. And it's all going to be about Joe and Riley for the first three to four hours while I get some work done. And mm. then I will join in. <laughs> right now, she's eating breakfast. She's eating breakfast. Say hi, Riley. Can you say cheese? Can you say cheese? She looks a little stunned. What is this in my face? Can you say cheese? Can you say cheese? Riley. Cheese. No? No. All right, she's not having any part of that. Come on, Kate, can't you perform on command? You little monkey. Riley. Riley. Say cheese. Cheese. Hey. No? Okay. Do you want do you want a marshmallow? Hey. You mm. do? Where are the marshmallows? Where are the marshmallows? Where are they? Can you point? Where are the marshmallows? Are they in here? Hey! Oh. Do you want this? Hey! Yes? You want a marshmallow? This is what we do when mom and dad are away. Do you want this? Oh, oh, look what we got. Do you want this? Can you say please? Can you say please? Not today? She's like, just put it on my plate. Oh, they're sticky. Do you want another one? Oh. Look at that. They're really stinky. <laughs> i make her poop stick. <laughs> Ew. It's going to have sticky and look pink at, and blue Jack, poop. Jack, what are you trying to do? Go into the marshmallow bag? Jack wants some too. Jack. Jack, you can't have table. any. Hey. Is that good? Can you say... Cheese! No? You I think she's still a little stunned. She's waking up. This is not her routine. Mom's usually with her in the morning. So she's probably a little thrown off. Yang, 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 yang. We'll get back to you when you're a little more awake, kid. So, all right. We'll see what today will bring, Jen. I'm sure it will be good. It'll be fine. We got lots going on. It'll be fun. She's fun to be with. Yes. Plus, she doesn't talk back yet. Yet. Don't talk back, kid. Stay just like you are. No, 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 you can't change wrestling. We gotta keep wrestling on the TV. No, 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 you can't have my coffee. No, 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 you can't have my phone. Riley, you have a family room full of toys. Why do you have to play with my phone and the remote control and the coffee? 
No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, who are you trying to call? Who are you trying to call? Mimi's working. She's working. What are you doing? You can't go in there. She's working. Riley's having a snack. She's having some banana. This has become. <laughs> this has become like what? A thing that we do. She likes to sit on the counter and eat bananas. I don't know when we started it, but it seems like it's been forever that she's been doing it. I guess since she's been eating solid foods. Yeah. Do you want more? Can you say please? Can you say please? No? So big. Hey, how big is Riley? So big. How big is Riley? So big. Can you do? Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Na 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 Hey! Can you do, can you do cheese? Hey, can you do cheese? No? Do you want a marshmallow? Riley, do you want a marshmallow? Hey. Say please. Say please. Do you want a marshmallow? Hey. Hold on. Whooshy, 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 whooshy. Yeah. You're an addict. Hey. Yeah. Here. Do you want a marshmallow? Hey. Say please. Can you say please? Not today. Can you say please? Do you want this? Do you want this? <laughs> so big. So big. Can you say please? Here. No, you can't have this. Want that? <laughs> Are you dancing? <laughs> what do you got? You got a french fry? Oh man, I need a nap myself. Holy Toledo, that kid. Chasing after a one-year-old is a lot of work. No, she was actually okay, to be honest. I mean, seriously, that kid's... Other than her banging on the door well, to say hi to me while yeah, I was working. Yeah, while you were working. <laughs> I took her out to water. We played with some of her toys. Uh, got her lunch from Mickey D's. Yeah, so, you had to get her a Happy Meal. Yeah, I mean, heck, are you kidding? Spoiling the heck out of her. Look, look, Papa's on the door. Oh, look, it's a cardinal. So anytime cardinal. we see a cardinal, mm-hmm, I told you. Kitten. Anytime we see a cardinal, um, I say that it's my dad. And there's one on the deck. It's hopping along the rail. Hi, little kitten. Hi, kitten. I'm I don't a, think she sees it. No. It's my dad. Say hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Huh. So anyway, okay. we so. have an Amazon haul to share with you. Yes. Uh, so if you don't know, we are Amazon affiliates. Um, everything will be linked in the description for you to shop. We're going to, you know, throw some in here and there, some fashion, some home, some, I don't know, stuff. stuff yeah. Vacation like travel stuff. Pink stuff. So we haven't used any of this stuff yet, um, but this first 
um, product that we ordered is called the Pink Stuff. It's a household cleaner and it's gotten great reviews and we're gonna try it out and see if it's really as good as everyone on social media says it is. Um, it's just a general, I think, all-purpose cleaner. But it's called the Pink Stuff. Does it come out pink? I think that it comes out white, but then as it eats away at the grime, whatever you're cleaning, it turns pink. Okay. But I could be wrong. All right, but it's well. like, it's, it's under $6, so we'll definitely let you know um, how, how it works. It says it's streak-free, sparkling clean, tough on grease and grime. And what can you use it on? Oh, I'm sure you could use it on countertops and... Vols versatile multi-purpose cleaner spray for hard surfaces. is tough on stains, penetrates, and removes grease and grime, leaving shiny, clean results. Yeah, I don't know. Anyone, really everyone say. everyone who says that they've used it um, has been happy with the results. Not so. suitable for waxed, oiled, open pour, painted, or varnished wooden surfaces. Obviously. So, yeah. Okay. You can need furniture polish for that. Next, we got some sponges for the bath. They're not sponges for the bath. I know. They it's are... A vulcanized rubber dry cleaning sponge. So... Made in the USA. I burn a candle every day. Mm -hmm. I have burned a candle almost every day for 12 hours a day for the last couple of years. And that was probably a bad idea because it has left soot on some of the walls and the ceiling behind where I have it lit. It sits on the stove, so the whole area of the ceiling above the stove is black. Yeah. So did some research and it's from the soot from the candle. So yep. these are called dry cleaning sponges. So we've already started working on the area and haven't used these yet, but we wiped it down with um, a cloth. A cloth. Like a damp cloth. And it already looks, the wall part looks, I'd say, 60% better and the ceiling looks maybe 30 to 40% better. Mm, I'd go higher with the wall or on the ceiling. I would but, show it to you, but it's so embarrassing because eh. it looks so disgusting. Well, you can also see on the cabinets right above yeah. the microwave. So that's the one, you know, I don't know, we maybe need to do fewer candles. We, you burn way too many candles in this house. It's a miracle. I didn't know that was the house thing. Down. Well, it's, yeah, it's soot, but I, yeah, I don't know. But Anyway, with this, um, it removes soot, dirt, and dust from any surface. Use completely dry. And then as they turn black, you can actually slice off the layer. So you're yeah. going to use the whole sponge. And it's it's soft, but you can actually cut part of it so that you can move on to the next part of the sponge and continue using it. Um, you know, so that's kind of cool. So again, let us know. Have you used these? Um, hey, do you have soot on your walls from burning candles or from other kitchen disasters? Hmm. Let us know in the comments below. Ideal for cleaning soot, dirt, and dust, wallpaper, wood paneling, oil paintings, lampshades, window hmm. blinds, cat and dog hair, smoke covered brick, walls near fireplaces, drapes, books, fan blades, computer screens, television screens, air vents, and acoustical tile. Like drop ceiling type tile. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, All right, cool. We'll let you know how these work. Next, we have these rug grippers. We have a um, a rug, like a throw rug that's at the bottom of the stairs. And now that Riley's a little more mobile, it, the corners kind of, I don't know, curl up a bit. And it moves. And we're and afraid she's going to fall. Yeah, yeah. So this is something we should have done a while ago. But uh, we need to get these stair runners for the stairs going to the basement. Yes. So if these, if this works well, then we could get more of these and use them for yes. the, the runners as we well, eventually get those for the basement. So again, if you use grippers for your rugs, let us know in the comments below which ones you use. If you use these by any chance, are they good or not? We will also let you know in a future video yeah. how these pan out. Yeah. But I'm excited. Anything yeah, yeah. to make uh, things easier around the house. So well, it'll make, it, it'll make fall it look better trip. too. Like yeah. coming down the stairs and that rug is, you know. It, anyway. it moves. Um, last thing, I needed a new backpack. So this... This was only $30. This was 30 bucks, yeah. Um, all the stuff again on Amazon. Um, bag Shore, bag certified, or bag crafted to perfection from Bag Shore. You know what I love about this bag? I tell everyone what it has on the, the little secret thing that it has on it, on uh, the inside. And, well, there's, well, there are a whole bunch of compartments. 
Um, Joe needed a new carry-on bag for the plane and a new bag for work. So we were doing some research, thought a backpack would work better than an over-the-shoulder bag. Yeah. Um, found this one on Amazon. Uh, there was, lots of different compartments yes. in it to stay organized. So they're, um, they had other bags that were bigger than this, but they didn't want anything super big. So this is um, basically the same size as the over-the-shoulder bag that I currently have. I've had that bag for literally 25 years, the different jobs that I've had um, over the years. So it basically, it's just more rectangular, but it is exactly the same dimensions as this just a little more rectangular and it's over the shoulder. But with this, a bigger backpack, it'll be easier for traveling. And um, it does fit underneath the oh, seat yeah, in front easily. of you on an airplane? Yeah, easily. But the one thing that Jen mentioned for uh, an extra little feature is that- This is awesome. It's got a little uh, port, USB port right here. And on the inside, there is a cable. So if you plug this cable into any charging brick that you have, have that in here, then you could attach whatever device you have, your phone, iPad, tablet, whatever, onto this so it'll charge it. So while you're on the plane, you could probably charge your phone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's on the, the Which is good because I always use my phone so much on a plane that I end up running out of battery before we even land. Well, Happens all the time. What makes you think you're gonna be able to use it? This is my bag. What? Anyway, there's another compartment in here. So that has zipper part here. Doesn't it also have a part for your keys? Yes, so that's the, the front part. I mean, this backpack has it all. You could probably live in this backpack. Well, probably not live in it, but. <laughs> so we got different pockets and the clip for your key ring or, or ring for your keys, which this part does pop off. Oh, nice. And you can put it back on for your keys. Huh. So. That's awesome. And they're, um, not super big, but no, but you can fit a water bottle in yeah, there. Yeah, there's um, on both sides, you got the stretchable for water bottles. So, yeah, we just got this. I gotta go load my stuff into it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about this one. So, yeah, so everything will be li linked in the description for you to shop. Um, we're also posting shorts of my fashion videos. I used to post daily outfit of the days, and it was just a lot of work to do that. So now we're gonna post them a couple times a month on our YouTube channel under shorts, and we will link the outfits in the description below for you to shop if it's something you're interested in. I'm doing jewelry and shoes and um, outfits, dresses. Can I like, ask you something? What? Did the camera start higher? Doesn't it seem like, I don't know if the camera like. Did it move? It might have, well Raven jumped on the chair. Maybe, so that's okay. I thought we had more room at This the is top. just a day in the life of Jen and Joe when we are babysitting Riley. We're both home, we're done working. Uh, this is just part of our daily life, these Amazon unboxings and we have our vacation coming up. As a matter of fact, I was just thinking about this. We go to Florida um, four weeks from yesterday. No, five weeks from yesterday. Five weeks? Today's Wednesday. Is it? Yeah, we'll probably publish this on Sunday. Yeah, it'll be published but, on Sunday, but. Yeah, so basically just what's over. What's the date today? Uh, the 14th. So there's 30, that's Yeah, it's 20, five weeks from yesterday. 24 plus 18. Five weeks. 30, yeah, okay, so about so five now weeks. now four weeks and six days yeah. from today. But from the point where they're watching this video, it'll be four weeks and two days. Oh. But we will have a travel video coming up. We are the, going to we'll do, do the... a packing with us. We're gonna do what we have in our carry-on bags. We are going to do a um, pre-trip report for the trip. Um, talk about where we're staying, how long we're staying, what we're doing. What else did we say we were gonna do? I don't know. Anyway, I'm not sure. there's You're a whole running bunch the show of stuff here. coming I'm just up. tagging along. We pay for our cruise uh, this weekend. So that's oh, very exciting. Joy. And we booked our airfare for San Diego. Oh, okay, so now this, hold on. This is really bugging me. I need to fix the camera. Hold on just a second. All right, that's a little better. I feel like I was <laughs> hunching over just to get into the shot. Um, Southwest, unfortunately, I think the sale is gonna be over by the time they see this video. But Southwest has a big sale going on right now. We got for their killer, birthday. killer, killer price for the it airfare for San Diego. It was basically buy one, get one free with Pretty what close. we paid to go to San Diego. Yeah, from what I paid to go to San Diego before 
the price that we paid for the two of us was about the same as what I paid for just one. for myself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was just <laughs> very, very happy about that. We got a killer, killer price. Um, so that's cool. That was very cool. And um, just following up from previous videos, I know that Joe and I post a lot of like just chatting with Jen and Joe. They usually go up on Sundays. We had talked about for our, the Disney portion of our trip coming up in July that we were thinking about adding an extra day onto Disney, and we did. <laughs> so we'll and talk we all about that. that extra day? Well, we'll tell them all that when we, um, we do our talk, trip yeah. video. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. But we're all now right. doing oh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're now doing five nights in Disney. Wow. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Should be fun. With time in St. Pete before and after, but we will talk all about that in our yes. pre-trip report. But considering we haven't up. been to Disney since September. I know. Yeah, I'm really having FOMO. Yeah, a little bit. I am. I've seen all of our friends go yeah, and... Several times. <laughs> I didn't think it would affect me, but it did. Oh, no. You knew it was going to affect you. Are you kidding? We needed a break, but at the same time, we never, you know, we're critical, but we've never ever disliked or hated mm -hmm. it. We we have gone as often as we've gone because we really do like yeah, it. We do. Um, but, you know, part of it, too, was we did, honestly, we did take advantage of all the stuff during COVID because um, we the parks were less yeah. crowded. Yeah. You know, there were fewer... There were things back, that were offering, but yeah. still, we were we had a great time the times that we went during COVID. We really did. Yeah, we did. So, but you know, the crowd started spiking a bit over the past year and a half. Really, once it hit the 50th in October mm -hmm. of 21, once it hit the 50th, it went until this year. And now we're starting to see the crowds dip a little bit. So Yeah, and, and a lot of the a lot of uh, the bigger vlogs are reporting that the resort attendance is down um, from mm. what it's been. Well, it so, goes in waves. So now, you know, a lot of people who missed it had trips planned and had to reschedule or cancel. They decided to tr try to take advantage of it. And then just the, yeah. the, the uh, I don't know, the frenzy of traveling again after being shut down for so long. So Yeah, anyway. I mean, that's what I think it is. Yeah. It's because it was the world was shut down and the borders were closed for so long that yeah. when people could get out of their house, houses, they were like, I haven't been to Disney in two and a half, three Let's years. Let's just go. Let's, Let's go. just go. And they've not had a vacation for and that long, so they were able to stay longer. Over, yeah. you know, so anyway. The crowds really did. They, they were... It, it was a bit insane for a while. Yep. But I think, yeah, I think now things are going to settle down a little bit until the holidays. Once, I, I think, too, we're going to go back to a trend where um, once school goes back, you know, I think August, September, October might be a little quieter um, than we've yes. seen in the last couple of years. And mm. then it'll get busy again for the holiday yeah, season. Yeah. We'll see what it's going to be like in July, end of July when we go. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. All so right. Anyway, so, um, Mm, we wrapping it up so or anyway, we no, we're we're not more gonna, this week? We'll probably, we got more going on yeah, this week. Yeah, I so, mean, Riley's take, taking a nap right now. Yeah. She went down easy. I mean, she was oh, tired. that baby's so good. Yeah, I don't know. She's so no good. Complaints. No yeah, complaints. No complaints. I just got all my cleaning done. Work is done. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to go put stuff in my bag. I'm going to put all and this stuff away. If we use um, if we use any of this stuff yeah, before we're gonna Sunday, let you, we're gonna let we'll you let know. you know. Yeah, so it might be in the same video. We'll let you know. Because I want to put the grippers on the rug now. Yeah, yeah but I that. am interested. If you've used this pink stuff that's all over Amazon and all over the internet, let us know what your thoughts the were. The pink stuff. The, the pink, pink stuff. stuff. Hmm, okay. All right. All right, guys. Moving on. Got we'll things talk to, to do. in a little bit. Let's go. So the way they have this set up for um, these rug rippers, it actually has a label. Floor. Drop it. <laughs> drop it on the floor. No, that's not what that meant. Floor and rug, so you know which side sticks to which. Interesting. So let's see how easy it goes onto the floor and the rug. My goodness gracious. That just makes me tired. Do we tired. get rid of this? Do we need this? Probably not if those work well. That, that, that never worked. No, it didn't. Has anyone so, ever used those for underneath your rugs? They don't work. It, that didn't work at all. All right. Rug side. Oh, perfect. Right about there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that should work much better. All right, cool. 
I don't think we need to watch Joe do all four of them, but it is kind of funny watching him crawl on his hands and knees in his yeah, boxer well, shorts. Is there boxer shorts? They're pajama pants. They're pajama pants. That's okay. different than boxer shorts. Well, they're stuff you sleep in. All right, catch you later. Uh, not sure if you got a good look at what the rug looked like before I put the grippers down, but grippers on, rug is laying flat. All right, that was a success, I think. All right, so you used the pink stuff. I did. I, I will say that um, I think it did a good job cleaning. It's just like, it's kind of like better than like a Windex cleaner. It smelled good. Yeah, it did smell good, but it doesn't turn pink. No. It's just like a clear spray. Yeah. But it smells really good. It doesn't smell like... Ammonia. Yeah. No, it smelled fresh and clean, kind of flowery. Yeah, yeah. it has a really so, good scent. Yeah, because um, we used it to clean the sink in the area in here just now. So I'd say the cleaning stuff, the pink stuff was good, and the floor grippers, good. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I would right. definitely say thumbs up. I do want to use the... Um, the pink and like the bathroom and like the sinks and the countertop and like on the countertops in the kitchen and see how it works. Okay, good so far but though. That's for another day. Yeah. Yes. So quick update on the backpack. Um, I forgot to mention there's a handle on this as well and I just put all my stuff in here. Does um, it have the little um, slit to like go over like your bag, yes. like over the bag handle? Yes, so that's, that's a, in the back right here. Yeah, I see that. So that can go over if you have like yes. a, a, a little a handle on your suitcase, the yeah. pull-up handle. Yeah, on the carry-on or big suitcase. Yeah, that's yeah. there. Um, so, got my stuff all organized in the front, and got the two compartments here, that, and then the one in the back. But what's nice, this side part does um, the straps here do adjust. So if you need to tighten it up, and then putting it on, super easy. Does it feel comfortable? And it feels very, very comfortable. These straps feel very, very comfortable. So. And again, we'll link that um, in the description below. Yeah. And if you want to buy one, I think it came in different colors too, didn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many yeah. colors would you uh, say it's available in? Six to eight. Okay. Yeah. So, um, but very, very comfortable. 30 bucks. I'm going to use this thing every day. And then when we travel, uh, every day for work. But and then you do have travel, two big trips coming up. That's it. So this will be good for iPad and headphones and the other stuff that I like to bring on the plane. Awesome. So, all right, cool. Cool. I'm just wondering how expensive that drink is. Eighteen wings, yummy, yummy. Hi to the kitty. Can you say cheese? <laughs>